American farmers confront a mental health crisis. The worst agricultural downturn since the 1980s is taking its toll on the emotional well-being of American farmers. In Kentucky, Montana, and Florida, operators at Farm Aid's hotline have seen a doubling of contacts for everything from financial counseling to crisis assistance. In Wisconsin, can you imagine doing your job and having your boss say well, you know things are bad this year, so not only are we not going to pay you, but you owe us, Matthews said by telephone. That's what's happened, glutted grain markets have sparked a year's long price slump made worse by a trade war with top buyer China. As their revenues dip, so dire are conditions in farm country that Senator Joni Ernst, an Iowa Republican, and Senator Tammy Baldwin, a Wisconsin Democrat, pushed for mental health provisions to be included in the 2018 Farm Bill. The legislation, Ernst said, she spoke with a woman whose farmer husband died by. While there's been pro few agricultural states have been hit harder than Baldwin's Wisconsin, whose state license plates proclaim it as America's Dairyland. Wisconsin laws, smaller operators have been the most affected, she said by telephone. The mental health prof there was a similar legislative effort in 2008 during the financial crisis, but the program was never funded because prices recovered, said Jennifer Fahey, communications director for Farm Aid, which advocated for the measures. Two-thirds of the calls to Farm Aid's hotline originated from growers who have been farming for a decade or more. They were evenly dis- In 2018, the number of calls rose 109% to 1,034, increasing in the last five months of the year. In November, Mike Rosman, another of the few mental health counselors in rural America, echoed the sentiments. A partially retired During the 1980s farm crisis, the hotlines, counseling, and other services that he participated in became the template for the provisions in the farm bill that Baldwin and Ernst advocated for, he said. The retaliatory tariffs by China have hurt soybean exports, Rosman said. They've hurt our rela- Still, farmers support Trump, in part due to his public support for corn-based ethanol, Rosman said. Last week, some of that goodwill may be eroded by a 2020 budget proposal that would cut overly generous Department of Agriculture subsidies. The 35 de farmers have accrued so much debt because by nature they are optimistic, said Scott Marlowe, senior policy specialist at the Rural Advancement Foundation International USA in Pittsburgh, North Carolina. Their fierce independence and deep connection with the land can become an economic disadvantage, Marlowe said. They can be driven far. Sue Judd in Wisconsin set up a suicide prevention group for farmers and those in the rural community after her brother, a hobby farmer, killed himself, she said. Her group's aim is, Meyer, 71, who retired from law enforcement, was on this street. Peter's Lutheran Ch Farmers' spirits may lift if U.S. negotiators can broker a favorable deal with China soon. For now though, if the corn price went up $3 a bushel and beans went up $5 my phone would ring a fourth as much as it is now, Matthews said during a road trip. Prices are really low with assistance from Red Gale and Cynthia Coons.